Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening 107 or 108, I'm not sure. Anyway, I've had my first strike on YouTube. Oh my God. They took off um, the 19th of September saying the content was uh, not appropriate for YouTube or whatever. And so I'm going to try and put it on BitChute and send it all over the place. My first strike. That just shows you freedom of speech. There was nothing wrong in that film uh, and everything right in that film. Anyway, um, I'll put it on BitChute and you'll all get to see it. And please join um, uh, Support Moving On TV by subscribing on YouTube, even though it's going to be on BitChute. I, I don't know how it works, but I need your support, guys. And thank you so much for the donations. I've had 200 pounds from someone that was incredible. Thank you, gorgeous. I've had another 10 pounds from someone to help me buy a tripod. And so I bought a new tripod. And, and also for Heart Vision, because uh, people love it, uh, they've given me some money in order to try and get it done as a CD so we could sell it and raise money for Paul and for Paul McDonald, the composer, and myself, a co composer. And so wait, watch this space. Okay, people love it and they've given me enough money to cover a CD, um, which I'll tell you more about as we go along. Anyway, The Awakening. Um, my job is very clear now. My job now is to tell you not to go to war. That's it. Um, as an ex-war child, and um, now I'm grateful I went through it, because I'm going to tell you what it feels like on this awakening, how it feels to grow up in the war, and you don't want it. And so if you feel that Saturday is leading you to war and not to peace, then I'm begging you not to go. As usual, the hair's everywhere. I've been in bed today. I couldn't, I was supposed to go to Geza today to volunteer and I couldn't because Rebecca's put me on a detox program and they decided to kick in today. They decided to kick in today of all days. So last night I've been sick. And so I'm spreading the message to say to you, war, this is how it feels to grow up in the war, okay? You don't know from one day to another what's going to happen to you. You don't know if you're going to live or die. You have to taper up the windows with plastic just in case there's an attack. You have to live with an air raid shelter. Everyone has an air raid shelter. Every block of flats has an air raid shelter. The schools have air raid shelters. And the first sign of uh, anything on the borders and you hear sirens, mm -hmm and you have to go into an air raid shelter. You don't know if you're gonna come out of that air raid shelter. You don't know if, if terrorists are gonna infiltrate and murder everyone. You don't know if you're gonna see your parents again, your siblings again. You, you may be just the people in the air raid shelter. I was in an air raid shelter on my own when I was 13 years old. Um, it was the Young People War, my family, we're in the synagogue with my sister and I stayed at home because I didn't want to go to synagogue and I didn't want to fast uh, the whole day. So I stayed at home, stayed in bed because I just wanted the day to get the day over with because I wanted my food. My food was my comfort. My food was my life. I didn't have anything else. And so I stayed in bed and uh, I had to go. I woke up and there were the sirens. Can you imagine a teenager work, waking up on their own, in their flat, sirens everywhere. Your parents are not there, your sister's not there, and you have to run down to an air raid shelter with the neighbors. And I think there were one or two of us at the time because everyone else was in the synagogue. And you are stuck in a, in a tiny building, a white building. It, it's just not even that big all white because the area shelters were always white pure white and you are stuck in there that's it there's no toilets or anything i don't remember there being a toilet in an area shelter i really don't and i don't remember that now as a child maybe you don't think about these things but you run down it, it was right beside the stairs and that was the area shelter 
and I was in there crying and, and I didn't know what to do. My parents weren't there. I didn't know if I'd see my mum and dad or my sister or anyone again because we were at war. Do you understand? When you're at war, all the men, uh, particularly they'll start with the men, the same way as Keisha Mirani called all the men up. Usually it's the men. They start with your men, your brothers, your uncles, your fathers, your sons, your, your friends, the men. They have to go to war. They have to be put under conditions that are unbelievable and fight. I mean, what do you, do you really want that? This is in insane. This is insane. Put up against the police force that are trained to fight. Yeah, you can't win. It's impossible. How can you all win against the police force that can open tear gas or bullets on you? You need to call that police force to, to peace. Sorry, I'm shouting. You need to call that police force to peace. I don't mean to shout, but I'm trying to get across to you. You don't want war. And my awakening now, it's, that's what it's leading to. If you keep going towards what I saw, that, that consciousness on Saturday, you will end up, some of you will end up dead in Trafalgar Square. Antifa are going to be there as well. You don't want to confront a war. What you want is you want to stand for peace, like Laura Ward. You want to meditate for peace. You want to study Article 20, uh, 21 of the Common Law. You want to go to Gaza. You want to be with peaceful people. You want to call yes for the government to resign, but in peace, in peace, not by fighting. If I can stop one of you from, go by all means, but protect yourself and make sure that the minute you feel that men are being called up to confront the, 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 the police, back off and go home please because you'll end up like my friend Jan that was bashed to pieces on the ground thank god he's alive he was unconscious and if you watch the film you'll see you'll see it was his shirt i was talking to him about masks and how, how bad they are for you you want to keep this awakening short and sweet i got my first strike on youtube for this film uh it's on there but the sound is not very good so watch it with the one that the sound is not very good because they deleted the other video. They deleted the new video. So go on, I'm gonna try and get it on BitChute. I need to cut it around a bit and I need to put the message on there. It'll be a lot shorter, but someone gave me the money to do it and therefore I'm going to do it. I love you lots. And please, this is what I want you to think about, please. I wish you peace, every race, and creed and color just close your eyes and together we can fly on the wings of love we can make this whole world right i wish you peace let us breathe Let us bring back the holy light. I wish you peace, every race and creed and color. Just close your eyes and together we can fly on the wings of love. We can make the whole world right. I wish you please, peace, police, peace. Let us bring back the loving light. All of us, white, black, Muslim, Christian, Buddha, Hindu, I wish you peace. Let us bring back the loving light. And please watch Heart Vision. The song comes from here, not from here. See what's in your heart towards your fellow man. And I'm raising money for that. You can always give donations if you want in order to get that song out there, to raise an income for Paul McDonald and, and also for myself, as um, I don't have an income. It's a beautiful piece of music. This man is incredibly talented. He's one of the most talented musicians I've ever met. And God knows I've, written, I've worked with a lot of talents because he's not just a musician, he's also a singer and a healer and a shaman. 
that man is he's got so much talent in him and i'm doing everything i can to get that song out there and i will fill you in on more but uh, please watch it i'll put the link below and donations uh, you can do them on my paypal uh, lomedalagugamel.com in order to get that song out there and to show people it, that if you look from here you'll see the people that are telling you that every earthquake is is when they're taking off up the tunnels you will understand what trump is saying when he says he wants ventilators not for covid but for the children ventilators for the children ventilators for these poor babies that are stuck underground it, it doesn't bear thinking about what they've done to the children that's what her vision is it look from here look at president trump what he says when he talks about vaccinations he's not talking about bill gates he's talking about giving people that have very low immunity vitamin c vaccinations hydroxychloroquine vaccinations to counteract the mmr vaccinations see beyond check his twitter look watch charlie ward watch charlie freak watch um oh jason sorka my interview that's coming up soon 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 watch the, the interviews that are spreading love watch geza a man that gives himself instead of asking the police to run forward and protect him if i was on that stage spreading peace and singing i wish you peace not one policeman would want to arrest me why would they arrest someone that's spreading peace and calling to every single police person who's on here policeman doctor human uh, anyone who's in the army please take a breath that lunatic elwood is calling to bring in the military for this flu bug you need to wake up that's the other side that we have to win against but we need to come together it's not enough to have trump and q and and all us light workers we need to come together and bring back common law and love and see from the heart as i said like like heart vision is teaching you not from here from the eyes but from the heart what do you feel when you hear elwood say we need to bring in the military what do I hear? I hear Nazis. I hear stormtroopers. I hear war. He needs to be quietened down. What? But he's going to wake up a hell of a lot of people. Every time they do something like that, they wake up another that couple of thousands. Every time they do something like that, they wake up thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Okay? So that's all we need to do. Come from here, from the heart heart vision not from the eyes but from the heart and as i said to you we need to join together if there's policemen that are watching this i am i do not wish you harm i spoke to you the vaccination will annihilate you it will destroy your life you won't be able to have kids if you're young i'm appealing to the mothers and the families of police and anyone who, who wants to have this 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 dreadful thing in their veins and, and that awful thing outside, the radiation. You need to understand it's going to kill your families. Not only that, there's an element that is trying to get us to fight and your children will die. Your children will die the same way as, as I grew up with the fear of death every single day hanging over me. Wars and death and fighting. You don't want that. From the time I was seven years old, they taught me about the Holocaust. They wanted me to stand up and fight i'm not fighting anymore i love you and i want you to understand everyone take off your masks and those of you that are not wearing masks if you think you can fight the police on saturday and antifa you're very much mistaken back off and ask for peace when it when people are shouting choose your side shout peace peace i choose peace i choose peace I choose peace. I choose peace. I'm begging you to choose peace. I love you lots. Bye.